The playoffs are upon us as we welcome you to Jersey City, New Jersey, home of the Warehouse Games. It is all presented to you by DraftKings. This, of course, season two of our ball and play tournament. This is Mel. I am Chris. Kelsey Wingard is down there on the cement. It is the first of our four quarterfinal matchups. Forgotten Rotten taking on Wugas. Kels, take it away. It is game time, Chris, and it is time for the coin toss. So if we can please get a captain from Team Wugas and a captain from Forgotten Rotten, please. It's the strategy we've seen from Forgotten Rotten this entire tournament. Walking up as a team, there is no single captain. You guys, welcome to the postseason here of Ball and Play 2. Stakes are high. This is heads, 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 tails. All right, I like Jimmy Norp a lot, so I'm going to let him call it in the air. You ready? Heads, Jimmy O'Brien. Heads, Jimmy O'Brien, and it is heads, Jimmy O'Brien. Would you like to batter bowl? We would like to swing the twigs first. Okay, so Woogas will be swinging the twigs first, and Forgotten Rotten will be bowling first. Welcome to the postseason, Chris Rose. We have made it. Yes, we have, Kelsey Wingert. A lot of pressure on Woogas. They have had trouble when they are striking. My big concern is hearing Jimmy Norp talking about swinging twigs. They don't need <laughs> twigs out there. They need a full freaking branch, <laughs> like maybe one made How about an of oak tree? Titanium. Can we borrow one of those? They need an oak. They want to swing an oak tree. Forgotten Rotten. Remember, they have three of the top seven pitchers in terms of economy. Essentially, that is ERA for our blitzball slash baseball fans out there. Shelfy, Plouffe, Panic ranked five, six, and seven. We'll see Shelfie as the first bowler against Jimmy Norf, oh! who delivers six right out of the gate. That's exactly what Wugas needed. That was no twig. He's brought the oak tree today as Jimmy Norf, and that's what they need. That one tapped. It's going to be a dot ball. Jimmy Norp has basically been the Wooga's offense. He came into this game supplying 50 runs. The other three players just 69 on the entire season. There's a second six. <laughs> wow, maybe Jimmy, he's been saving it up for the playoffs. And I know that Forgotten Rotten, they were like, wow, we don't want to go two and none and then lose in the playoffs. Oh. oh, now that counts as a wide because yeah. the ball did not hit the wicket. That's huge. That means Shelfie can no longer be the DraftKings golden bowler. Or was it tipped? Was it tipped? And if so, it hit the back wall, which would be four runs. As we take a look at the replay. No, it did. It, did, it, it hit it. It did hit it. I'm an honest guy, but if we don't get it, we don't get it. Uh, he's saying he's honest. We need the honesty from the batter. Jimmy, honestly, do you think that you tipped it? Yeah, Kels, I'm an honest guy. I, I did tip it, but if we don't get it, we don't get it. It's hard to hear, I understand, but I did tip it. I did. Uh, uh, I, I, think, I think we're going to give that to him because look at that little face. No, you can't do that. It's a wide. <laughs> wide. Oh, wow. It's a wide, which means wide. that Shelfie's no longer eligible to be the DraftKings okay. Golden Bowler. I'm overruled. Whoa, oh, there's a big old dot ball. That's a comeback, though, isn't yeah. it? You never man. count out Shelfie. What do you Shelfie. call it with Shelfie, the balls of steel? Balls of steel. Wow, okay. Balls of titanium. Whoa. Oh. And that's why. Okay. All titanium one more, one more. balls is All right. on it again. Yeah, hopefully one he's got more, that extra more. large jock strap on today because <laughs> he's got some monsters working now. <laughs> Nice oh, tap, good oh, job nice by Shelfie. I see nice that, stop. the defense as yeah. well, huh? Nice stop. So uh, great job by Jimmy Norp to get the Woogas on safe. the board that's and then safe. shut that's out in the last three good go. pitches. And now, that stop saved Forgotten that's Rotten's going to have to change things up and they're going to bring more, on the more, brains of the operation, Justin Pennick to bowl. Chief Strategy no, Officer, the CSO, he has been one of my favorite players in this whole tournament. I love his passion, too, his passion for strategy. And he's going to square off against the youngest competitor here, Sanjay Krishnamurthy. What? Oh, off the oh, top oh, of the oh, bat. Oh, oh. Nice, Just nice. a single Take run for Krishnamurthy, the one. professional cricket player out of the San Jose area. He's a student at San Jose State, plays for San Francisco in Major League Cricket. 
And that'll get Nort back on strike. And that's a wide, wow. that's a big deal for Pennick because he's no longer eligible to be the DraftKings Golden Bowler. Yeah, so they're cycling through, but they're, they've got good all-round the bowling thing. options, these guys. They're, they can all make an, uh, have an impact. Goes ah. for four to Snorp. Impact, though. There's good impact. Now has a four to go with a pair of sixes. This has been good for him, Jimmy Nort. Yeah, yep. Oh, he reached Ooh. out, popped it in the air. Pennick Penny! gets the wicket. Doesn't panic under the high ball. <laughs> and Forgotten Rotten records their first wicket of the day. That's a big deal because it sits Norp down and has to bring Luke O'Brien off the bench. And I'll tell you, if Wugas is going to pull off the upset, this is the guy that's got to get it clicking. Yeah, we saw the contest between brothers, Luke and his brother Jimmy. This time he doesn't have that pressure on him. There's a smack. Whoa! What a phenomenal play. Are you kidding? <laughs> Holy shit. Calvin Savage has it ricochet off him. Wow, Best player was... around, says Trevor Plouffe. Look at that. That is superb. He'd be great on the boundary in cricket. So it wasn't a wicket, but it was. It did save four runs. Remarkable. Little tapper. Nobody's going anywhere. That's a dot ball. <laughs> and this is where Rotten will just... Ah. Take the spirit out of you. That loss of Jimmy Norp could be really, really key for them. Last good pitch of this over. Oh! oh! <laughs> Luke O says, yeah, defend that. <laughs> That's the guy. Wow. I know. That's the guy I know. Come on. Yeah, if you can't find the back wall, go over it, I say. You had a wide, right? That was massive. So now. Forgotten Rotten will use its third bowler in as many overs. It'll be Trevor Plouffe. We saw a wide thrown by both Pennick and Shelfie, and, and that's odd because this team had thrown only five wides throughout the regular season, fewest in the league. Let's go, Sanjay. Here we go, 8-3. Stay hot. All week, kid. Been good all week for us. And Trev, I got you here. I got you here, Trev. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, you're kidding. The old okie doke Plouffe using the brains of Justin ah. Pennick to pick off Luke ah. O'Brien as wow. he faked him out in the crease to get the wicket. Wow. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. my goodness. Dirty play for a dirty team. We're rotten. Oh, my Was goodness. Was that planned? Yeah, of course it is. Every time I take the first base, I'm going to do that. And Luke just didn't notice. It's the postseason. You got to do what you got to do. Oh, wow. I can't believe he's run out the non-striker. My goodness, in cricket, that would cause hell. Wow. That would cause hell. It's perfectly legal. It's within the Is rules. it considered a little, like, cheap, though, kind of like dirty-ish? Beyond that, it is cricket's big culture war. Even the name for it is controversial. What's it called? Some people call it a mancad, but but even that is considered disrespectful go, because go, Vinu Mancad was one of the great Indian all-rounders of the game. Wow! So Dan Rourke now in, and he oh, it's another boom, wicket, boom, and just boom, like oh, that, Wooga's boom, chances evaporate. Plouffe records back-to-back -back wickets, Trevor one Plouffe. with the. Dirty trick in mind, <laughs> the other, the oh natural way, and Forgotten Rotten is going to go grab some bats down 25. <laughs> Much more coming your way from a controversy-filled warehouse right after this. <coughs> Draft Kings. Draft Kings. Draft Kings. Draft Kings. Draft Kings. Thank you to our Ball and Play sponsor, DraftKings. Get some skin in the game and download the DraftKings app.
and use promo code WAREHOUSE when you do. That's promo code WAREHOUSE at the DraftKings Sportsbook. The, the crown is, is yours! All right, so we head to the second inning. It'll be young Sanjay on the mound, 20 years old, a student at San Jose State, born in Oregon, moved to Arizona at eight years old, spent a decade in India, and now studying computer science as a Spartan in Northern California. The pressure is on him to face the potent Trevor Plouffe, who led the regular season with 77 runs. Oh, wow! Oh, he's checking to see if Calvin's backing up. I don't think Calvin <laughs> Savage is going anywhere. Wow. Played this game too long. He says, kid, just throw the ball. Oh. And Ploof goes for four. That's how he's been doing it all the way along. That's just like a rocket Wait on off speed. Back. Wait on that off speed. Wait on the off speed. Sanjay with the funky delivery, it's skyrocketed. Oh, oh Luke almost oh, makes the play. Oh, now the teams are gonna run. Oh, wow. That was a good effort. He made good ground, Luke yeah, O'Brien. He only wait, missed it by about wait, eight no, feet. <laughs> <laughs> he overran it in the end. Luke, how me bum? <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> good effort, Luke. Huh? Wait on the off speed, don't, don't jump it. Let it come to you. Hey, communicate, communicate. Calvin oh, Savage wow. being Good. one as well, he goes for four. Well, he's not going to let Trevor Plouffe have all the glory. Yeah, he certainly looks wait, much wait more on, comfortable wait, wait on, on strike back, this season. Wait, wait on. Oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah. Another magic hole for yeah. Sanche. Oh, wow. He just watched that one all the way in the magic hole. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. But this kid, he's been doing that. He got three wickets in his first over of this tournament. Just adds another one. <laughs> it must be something about the break coming out of the left hand where Keep people working, just Sanjay. do not Keep pick working. it up. Yeah, so in cricket, when he plays cricket, he's a slow left arm orthodox bowler. So Shelfie, Ooh. oh, that's a dot ball. It was that close to being Ooh. a second magic hole. That was not far sit off back, at back. all. Not up. at all. One more good pitch left in this over. Oh, uh, Shelfie. Right here, right here. That was it. That was awesome. That I gotta, was. I gotta tell him that was sweet. <laughs> that was sweet. Well, he covered. He he covered the hole at that time, but he made sure he got bat on it because if it had hit him on the body, then it would have been a dot ball. A smart play. All right. Even though Sanjay is the DraftKings Golden Bowler, uh, the Woogas are going to go with Jimmy Norp now for this over, and that'll give us a chance to check out the Seat Geek Playoff bracket, or you like to call it a uh, the. Playoff fixtures. Okay, playoff fixtures. Yeah. Okay, so the other quarterfinal matchups, Del Caribe and McFlurry Power, Lovias and Baggage, Hook Line Sinkers, and We Got Ice. And also, let's check out the SeatGeek Warehouse Cup standings. McFlurry, based on its Blitzball Battle 4 win, has 10 points. Hook Line Sinkers, 7. Woogas and Lovias with 5 each. And also a quick reminder that the winner of the four quarterfinal matchups is guaranteed at least five points in the overall Warehouse Cup standings for 2024. So Jimmy Norp now bowling against Shelfie. Just gave us that crafty little bunt. Oh, he got Ooh, jammed wow. and it's a dot ball. That was also not far from the magic hole, Chris. That was close. He's living dangerously, Shelfie. Ball tapped to, oh, Luke. Oh, man. A little skid job there. Perhaps he could have gotten a second wicket. It's the second time he slipped down there as well. Yeah, he's got to change his cleats. He does, what? Yeah, that's, yeah, too, too much to explain. Oh, another dot ball. It's the arm angle that's got Shelfie all screwed up here, right? Yeah. Because the ball looks like it's coming right at his head, and then it dips around. That ball popped yeah! out! Sanjay! Ah. If 
he's not throwing in the magic hole. He's creating magic behind Jimmy Norp. That is outstanding. And it's so hard as well, these guys, when that ball goes up high because they're looking straight up at the lights. But he was absolutely solid. A second wicket. Ooh. What a fantastic play in the heavily favored Forgotten Rotten. You can see Savage and Shelfie on the pine. They are stunned. Hey, just be ready, just be ready to run. Hey, watch a bun or something. They want to get ploof up. We're gonna be we're gonna be smart, but just be ready. And we have a brief break in the action as Luke O'Brien is being tended to by our medic. Uh, we did see him slip a couple of times as the wicket keeper. That second one, he looked a little gimpy. Yeah, the first one he landed flat on his ass. But uh, that time, yeah, he was limping a bit as he, as he got up. He, yeah. yeah. Well, if I had landed flat on my ass, I would have ricocheted into the ceiling. I can't, I can't run, so I'm going to chill and play keeper, but I can't really move. So I went to, when I slipped, I moved and pop right in the front of my quad here. And it's like, yeah, I don't really know. It sucks. I can't, so I'm going to chill. Yeah. So just put it in the hole, and then we'll be good. We got you. We're good. Wow. Okay. So Luke O'Brien's going to give it a go. Uh, his mobility, as you just heard, is extremely limited. So with any wides or any sort of throws in the direction of that wicket, we're talking about a tremendous advantage for Forgotten Rot. Yeah, it is. And you heard what he said. Just put it in the hole. <laughs> Just do it that way. Do it that way. Justin Penix saw only two pitches during the regular season, but accounted for seven runs. And here he's looking at a dot ball. This is really incredible. Yeah. Unexpected by the Woogers. Bowling has been fantastic between Sanjay and Jimmy Norp. Oh! oh! Dotted it on the inside corner. Fantastic job. And so he too is the DraftKings golden bowler. No wides between Sanjay and Norm. It's a maiden. It's a what? It's a maiden. What the timeout? What? Oh yeah. What the hell is a maiden? Oh, no runs off the whole over. It's absolutely outstanding. It's he didn't give up a over. damn run. He didn't give up a damn run. Holy smokes! Does God that ever happen? Run. Yes, it does. It's a maiden. Well, I know, you just told me, you yelled at me five times. It's, it's a maiden, maiden. But it's a maiden. Okay, it's a maiden. Hey, keep your distance, I'll stay here. Does that happen a lot or no? Yeah, I will not in the short form of the game. If you get it, that is like, you know, hats Got off. Got it. Hats All right. off. Okay, here we go. Jimmy Norp's going to stay as the bowler. Why not? He's, he's a maiden. He's got it. He's not a maiden. He's, oh, he's got a He's got a maiden. Oh, my bad. All he's right. a manly man. Yes, he is. Okay, well, there's a wide. Okay, so that's the first blemish. Whoa! Oh, oh. And uh, Trevor Plouffe delivers up here. Wow, he's almost taken out our engineer as well. Yeah, don't worry, Mike, he's just fine. All the equipment check out all right? Okay. You good? Okay, Phew. stick your head in here. Let everybody know you're okay. Just give me a thumbs up. Uh, you don't even know where the camera is. Oh, no! Oh! Jimmy North! There's the wicket! There's the wicket! Unbelievable job by Norp, Sanjay, and the rest of the Woogas. They will take an eight-run lead into the third inning. Wow! That's incredible. When you think they've got one player on one leg, even better. Well, we want to thank everybody for joining us, but you know what? It's even better when you're seeing the action in person, and that's why I want to tell you a little bit about SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app around. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and oh so much more. With the MLB season now in full swing, you're not going to want to miss out. SeatGeek has your tickets to every game. In fact, they put tickets from all over the web in a single place to make buying very simple. And they rate every ticket on a scale of 0 to 10 to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. In fact, they color-code it as well. Green, good ticket. Red, bad. And you know we're going to come through for you guys as well. Use the code WAREHOUSE for 20 bucks off tickets at SeatGeek. That is $20 off your first purchase. Promo code WAREHOUSE. Make sure you click the link in the description and download the app today.
All right, before we continue on with the game, Jimmy Norp standing by with Kels. An exciting sequence we saw there. You threw a maiden. Do you know what that is? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. You did not give up a single run in an over there. How strong do you feel about that performance, especially getting the wicket against Trevor Plouffe there? I felt good. I did a lot of work in between games, trying to change up my arm slot, and I'm starting to learn how to spin a little bit. I was actually, credit to all the cricket guys who are here. Like, I was talking to them, like, how to spin it with your fingers, because, like, baseball, wiffle ball, blitz ball, I'm used to flicking it with my wrist, but I was kind of working with them to start flicking it with my fingers, and it felt good. All righty. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Good job. Is it he threw a maiden? Or he is a maiden. No, 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 no. He he bowled a maiden. He or bowled a maiden. A maiden. He is, look, look at him. He's a masculine, strapping young man. <laughs> Definitely not a maiden. All right, as we continue on here in the warehouse, Wuga's halfway home to an upset of all upsets in the quarterfinal. And we have a little more medical information on Luke O'Brien. He has apparently a strained quad. He is going to be able to strike, but he will not run. There is going to be, like we do this in backyard baseball, if you, if you can't run, we have like a, a runner for you. And this happens in the cricket world? It certainly used to happen a, a lot. You would see they don't. They don't allow it, it's certainly in international cricket anymore. But you can have a runner, and we did used to see that a lot. So they have to stand well to the side, and they can't leave early. So okay. they'll have to keep a real eye on that as well. Sanjay's going to be the runner for Luke. Okay. So if you like chaos, welcome to the <laughs> warehouse. Justin Pennick, the first bowler. And you know what? That's a great way to not run. That's a great way. Just smack fours off the back wall. They say save your legs. And if you only got one, you really got to save it. That's you know exactly what? what he's done. I'll be honest. Maybe this is going to slow Luke down a little bit and just let him concentrate yeah. on the swing path. Or maybe he'll just pop it up. Go off the wall. Oh, Plouf. Oh, man. He runs right into the wall. You okay over there? Hey, partner. You all right? Okay, he's good. Oh, my God. There's so much happening in this game, yeah. Chris. So a single run for Wugas. Penick now delivering to Jimmy Norp. So the first time we've seen them really under pressure. Oh, there's wide. That means he's ineligible to be the DraftKings Golden Bowler. And what did I just say? Pressure. Pressure. That's what's happening at the moment. They're not used to this. They're used to bullying teams. But at the moment... A little small. Oh, look oh, at yeah, Pennick. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to run in just a single run there. Okay. Rotten will take that. And that'll put Luke back on strike. This is a brave effort. This is a brave effort from Luke. Hey, you split the announcers. That's a hell of a shot. There you go. Let me see that thing. This guy's battling, man. I love Luke. He's a great teammate. He's a great dude. Luke all smiles, that? even though he's bruised and battered. And, oh, look at Ploof. Look at Ploof. Gave yeah. it a great effort, but still it found the back wall for four. All of a one sudden, more, and you couldn't more. get past those one two more, before. This is, this is a massive, one, massive turn up. One more good pitch left in this over. Hey, Luke O'Brien. Well, you all right? You okay? Oh, she lost her headset. You okay? You all right? Uh, yeah. Oh, of course I'm Just all right. Just wave to everybody. <laughs> Let everybody know. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Oh Holy my smokes. God, I should have tried to catch that. I mean, it comes quick, that ball. It does, it does. It comes quick. Kels? How did it feel hitting there? Uh, like emotionally or physically? Physically. You looked like obviously it almost helped you. I think it did help me a little bit. I gotta relax. I have an excuse to not swing as hard. I feel it a little bit, but I'm fine. Mostly felt really good. First couple of sixes, Kelsey. Mostly? <laughs> What a warrior, guys. He is. He is fighting through. Jimmy's younger bro showing the medal. And here we go. Shelfie now bowling. Jimmy Norp on strike. Another four for Wugas. And they continue to tack on runs. It is incredible the performance they have built up today. With one player injured, backs against the wall, didn't look good first innings. Ball popped up. Oh my goodness. How about the trajectory of that to be a six? <laughs> I mean, we've rarely seen it hit 
that far from us in the ceiling and still make it over the line. I know. Four more. Look, Four it doesn't more. matter when, Four more. how you're doing the rest of the whole tournament, the way they're doing today. There's wide. Oh, and look at Ploof. Look at Ploof. I mean, he didn't need to scamper like that, but still, good job. <laughs> yeah, commitment. But Shelfie has just not been bowling wides all yeah. tournament. And now, all of a sudden, some cracks showing in Forgotten Rotten. Yeah, both he and Pennick a little off base today. Yeah, There's a little tapper and still finds a way to get to the wall for four. It's like they've been saving this performance just for today. Rest of the season, it's looked a bit shaky, but they've found their way to put it together with their batting at the right time. Oh, like wow, Calvin that. Savage. <laughs> Not enough reaction time for that one. Two more. Two Another more. boundary for Wugas. They have just been smashing it. They have a half dozen fours, six sixes as well. Brought their hitting shoes today, Mel. <laughs> little tapper, that's not gonna one do more. it. Shelfie with one a more. dot ball. One more, one more. Well, they ain't swinging twigs, that's for sure. No. The lead is 50. Oh! <laughs> now it's 56 after that cut. What? <laughs> Jimmy Norp is feeling it. Where has he pulled this oh, out oh, from? Me and you, me and you. Do you oh, know, you. he said to me in the bus yesterday, on the way back, he said, I think a team is going to win this tournament who has lost both of their games wow. in the regular season. Wow. Hey, they have outs to work with. They may be aggressive and run. And now Luke O'Brien back on strike. Once again, because of the injured quad, Sanjay will be running for him. And now it's really up to Trevor Plouffe. They've got to wiggle out of here. They're already down 56. And I, listen, I trust Forgotten Rotten to be able to put up a 60 or 70 spot in an inning with the best of them. But when you look up at that scoreboard and know you're running out of time, oh, there's a wide. Yeah, because that's, you know, that's the beauty of baseball, right? 27 outs, there's no clock. Well, there's a pitch clock, but there's no clock to tell you that the game's over. And the same thing here in cricket. Well, the whole idea that psychologically, just knowing those runs are there, because the psychology of chasing is so different. There's a smack. Nice job by Pennick. Dot ball. Five, five, five. That's oh. smacked. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, I got to go figure out. I got to All off the ceiling and four more. This is, this, maybe he should have pulled his quad at the start of the season. Yeah, I was wondering where you were going with that one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep an eye on you. Oh, nice job. There's a wicket. Yeah. Really good job by Ploof on the hopper back to him. He got Jimmy Norp out of the crease. Yeah, second time he's run a player out. This time less controversially than the first. But it was sharp work. Two more. Running because Sanjay's now hitting for himself. Sanjay's going to hit, now you would run for Luke. Are we allowed to do keep him on designated runner for me and Dan hits? Is that better? I'd like to see Sanjay swing it, I think. Whatever you feel. Balls. You're good. Designated runner. I hit both balls pretty much. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, just hit both. Just yeah. You hit both balls. It doesn't matter. You know? Let's just have Dan. Let's just keep. You you just come in for me and yeah. You just keep running for Luke. So you work. 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 Yeah. I'm good with that. It's I'm hitting. Oh fuck that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is what happens when you get four people under the age of 25 together. I was just happy they weren't staring at their phones throughout the conversation. <laughs> All right, so Dan Rourke is coming off the bench. Damn, He'll be on damn. strike. First time we've seen damn, him, and he looks damn. at a dot one ball from Blue. Hey, run no matter what. Last ball. All right, here we go. Last good ball right, of the running. inning. They're running. Let's go. Let's see if Rourke can add to the magic number. He nice. cannot, but still, what a frame by Wugas. Come here. Come here. That's something else. They have pulled out their absolute best innings of the entire tournament right when they needed to. Rotten is chasing 67. We'll see if they can get it done right after this. A 
if it's a wide, I need you like, like after the pitch, start running, because I I can get like the two feet that are by me, but I can't get across to this side. Okay. We'll book it. Right. We'll book it. Cool. Start with you. Right. You got to be aggressive. If you're gonna do something, be aggressive with yeah. it. Don't half-ass it. Yeah. Go all the way. All right. If you're gonna make a decision, do it. Give that guy back on strike. We gotta run. Struggling and we take two balls that we miss, it screws the game. So if someone's feeling it, get them back on strike. Four and, fours and sixes, if you're not getting it, you gotta run. All right? Keep going three, keep going three. One, two, three. Are you guys planning on taking advantage of Luke O'Brien being hurt, may not be able to contribute much on defense? Is he playing wicket keeper? That's what he was playing last time because he can't run in the no, out. We're, we're gonna stay with what we do fours, sixes, and then you know, we may, we're gonna have to run. We're gonna have to be aggressive, and if we put the ball in play and it's not a four and six, we're gonna have to run. And I just told him if you're gonna make a decision, don't half ass it. Just even if it's a wrong decision, we gotta go. I'm just saying if he's behind there, you guys can do those trick shots to not the back game, wall. Pulse. It's not their game. Not our game. I'm trying to help. <laughs> you're, you're doing he everything move. you can. Yeah. Kelsey, the, but they right. have him in the you're outfield. Right the chief strategy officer. He's got a big ego, I heard. He just doesn't <laughs> want to listen to anybody, and that's the way it is. So 20-year-old Sanjay Krishnamurthy will be the bowler to try and help the Woogas pull off the biggest upset we've seen this season. 0-2 Woogas, 2-0 forgotten hey, rotten, arguably the most complete the team defense. in the regular wide, season. Well, we were talking them up, weren't we? And we're all three of us tipped forgotten rotten we just did not see this yep. coming from the wide, well let's see if the former major leaguer can get it oh he pops it up and it goes for four boy oh boy so fortunate it didn't end up in the hands of a defender ah yeah and look i gotta say i'm with kelsey too and the fact that they are down a fielder wow look, look at this though yeah they they're, have nobody they're going no oh. wicket keeper at all yeah that's what Justin Pennick is down here yelling at them, making sure they know there's no wicket keeper and on well, any wide just to run. There's well, no defense. Not only that, it, it, Calvin, Calvin Savage, Savage yes. has enough experience. Well, now, look, ah. Wugas is saying, okay, you got a That's pro off. cricket player. You could use the back wall. We're going to put somebody back here. And you notice he's just switched to the other side as well because he's ready for that little scoop shot. There's ah. a little grounder, and it's just good enough for a run. Good job by Wugas. Defending it. Yeah, and Luke, Luke, on, the immobile <laughs> Luke making a play in the corner. <laughs> He's just going to plank in front of the ball. There's Oi. a smash off of Sanjay, and that's a dot ball. Damn, this is smart because they brought Jimmy Nort back onto the back wall because they know that, that Ploof is not a cricketer. No. He's not going to try that. Yep, and look at this. It's dot ball after dot ball for Wugas. I, I, I mean, missed opportunities because the sand is running through the hourglass as we speak. <laughs> Last good pitch of this over. Sanjay's been on point bowling. Whoa, oh, there's six. <laughs> hey, <laughs> right? You might want to wear a helmet up here. What have I done? Right. They're all what do they call the cricket helmet? A cricket helmet. Yeah, that's very technical. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> wow. They're, they're gunning for me today. You want to play keeper against you? I must have done something in the bar last night. All right, so oh, Jimmy right, Norp is right. going to be the new bowler. What was he maiden last time we maiden, saw? Maiden, maiden over. He, First one we've seen in the whole six tournament. Six Didn't give up a single run in an over. Oh, oh, nice job by Savage with the inside out to go for six. Savage by name, Savage by nature when it comes to that Daddy shot. Daddy Hex! Daddy Hex! Back to back six. I love it, somebody saying Daddy Hex. I'm with <laughs> you on that one. <laughs> Oh, there's why that takes him out of being the DraftKings nice golden job. bowler. Does, that's big. So, made him first up, but he's given up a couple of wides since then. Spoils his figures. That oh. ball lifted, six more for Savage. It's quite unorthodox. It's like he's stepping away when he swings, but able to keep the barrel of the bat through the zone. Yeah, well, in, that's what in cricket, a, a batter will do that. He'll step away to Let's give himself go, some room to open up oh, that wow. offside. Got it. So he's, he's drawing on his cricket experience. Oh, nice job by Norp to get the one hopper dot ball. Oof, still a long way to go, 42. Three good pitches left in this over. And Norp does a great job, although 
It gets Plouffe back on strike. One run. I mean, these two are the power strikers as yeah. well, too. If you're, if you're going to be chasing a big score, these are the two guys that you want out in the middle. There are eight good pitches left in this game for Forgotten Rotten to see. There's four. Fours aren't going to be enough. No. That's not enough. It's basically everything. They need at least three or four sixes in a row. And some wides. I mean, there's no wicket keeper with Plouffe up. Oh, that was a wide. They, they should have run. Oh, well, they can't because the ball hit him. Hit the body. Yeah, my bad. Well, if he gets out of the way, though, uh, yeah. they could have run, added another run, as it is just a single run. We need a six. 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 Whoa! Oh! Holy smokes! That almost took out Norb and umpire Nate. Almost took out the wall. If it's a wide, but you gotta take again, it. the fours, back. they Swing need back. sixes. Hey, yeah, just throw good balls. So they're chasing 32. There are six good pitches left as Sanjay, who is the DraftKings Golden Bowler, will head back to do his work. Oh, this is a good contest because he is a good bowler. That ball oh. lifted and it is six more. There's one. There's one. Whoa. Oh, boy. <laughs> if they pull this off, it is unbelievable. Yeah. But still, 26 behind. Okay. There's four. Okay. As long as Sanjay is going to be on point, doesn't throw any wides, they should be okay, but we'll see. Oh, there's a tapper. Oh, wow. Okay, just a single run. But a single, that makes it really tough now. They need wides. They need wides. I feel like I might try to take a wide, and if it's a wide, they might keep running. They're going to keep running on wide. So should I play behind? No, no, no. I think it's smart now, because they need six, three sixes don't hurt a wide if they keep running. I got to play back there. Okay, so this is really good strategy by Wugas. He said, Jimmy Norp says, three sixes don't hurt us. We can't lose. They get three sixes, they get three sixes. Wides are what's going to hurt us. Oh, look at this. Ploof. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> feigning injury to try and distract Sanjay to get him I mean, throw a wide. <laughs> hey, that was funny. As it is, it's a dot ball. Oh. And that's four. And, and Wugas will say, we don't care. Fine. One more. One more. Let's get out Sanjay, here. throw one more good pitch. We're walking into the semifinals and collecting five points in the Warehouse Cup standings. Unbelievable. Forgotten Rotten have just been almost flawless the whole way through. And the Wuggers have really struggled. But wow, this is an upset of an upset. Shelfy, Penick, despondent. And that's the way the season is going to run, end. Run. Oh, wow. they should keep running. Run, run. They're going to keep <laughs> running. <laughs> And oh, that wow. will do it. Wugas, the kids in town are off to the semifinals. Ploof, Pettick, Shelfie, and Savage are off to their summer vacation. Incredible stuff by Wugas. It, it matters when you get it together. The Wugas, a winner, 83 to 69, and they are off to the semifinals. They collect five points in the Warehouse Cup standing. We'll break it all down, tell you how the young upstarts pulled off the upset. That's all coming your way in the post-game show presented to you by DraftKings.